Taoism is uh, an interesting character as uh, A.A. Milne wrote the book and then uh, Benjamin Hoff wrote these uh, two books, The Tao of Fu and The Ted of, the, of Piglet. Taoism uh, is an ancient religion, Chinese origins, and Winnie the Pooh kind of shows us what Taoism uh, should be. And others have written books about the gospel according to Wayne the Pooh, that he could be to us an example as well. So I'm going to try to share about that with you today. If you think about it, Winnie the Pooh has all the gifts of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, patience, goodness, gentleness, humility, self-control. Well, he may not have quite the self-control because of honey involved and he's got no control at all. But other than that, he, he really exhibits all the gifts of the Spirit, if you think about it, in interacting with his fellow hundred acre wood characters. And he shows us, remarkably, these gifts of the Spirit and how he chooses to live. Well, in Taoism, he shows us what it is to be a good Taoist. Eeyore frets, Piglet hesitates, Rabbit calculates, Owl pontificates, but Pooh just is. He's in the moment, and that's what Taoism is all about as well. Matter of fact, last year at USA Today, somebody wrote an article that said, why Winnie the Pooh is the living in the moment hero we need right now. He makes the case that in our day, kids have to have an app, they have to have a cell phone, they have to have a computer screen, and Winnie the Pooh could just settle into nothingness and be happy. He could enjoy the moment, living in the moment. And if you know the latest and greatest, it is mindfulness. Everybody talks about mindfulness. Winnie the Pooh was doing that a long time ago. And so perhaps we need to resurrect Winnie the Pooh. In order for you to get a grasp, perhaps, of Taoism, it's uh, helpful to look at the painting of the vinegar tasters which is a famous painting that shows you the difference between Confucianism, Buddhism, and Taoism. And so, there are three figures around a vat of vinegar. There is Confucius, there is Buddha, and then there's Lao Tzu, who is the founder of Taoism. And Confucius tastes the vinegar and finds it sour. Life is in need of rules to help us to deal with it. Buddha finds it bitter. Life is in need of escape through nirvana. Lao Tzu finds it satisfying. In the picture, he actually has a smile on his face as the others are tasting the bitterness and the sourness. And Taoism would suggest that the vinegar is as it should be. That's how it ought to be. And so in Taoism, you go through life dealing with the present moment and what is before you, and it's all okay. And that's what Pooh represents in Taoism. Winnie the Pooh had this song to share. You remember he was a bear with your brain. And so when every, anybody gave him a riddle, he didn't know what to do with it. So he would sing the Calston Pie song. You remember that? Calston, Calston, Calston Pie. A fly can't bird, but a bird can fly. Ask me a riddle and I reply, Calston, Calston, Calston Pie. A fish can't whistle and neither can I. Ask me a riddle and I reply, Calston, Calston, Calston Pie. Why does a chicken? I don't know why. Ask me a riddle and I reply, Calston, 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 Pot. Now here are the principles of Taoism and Pooh that are contained in that silly song. A fly can't bird, but a bird can fly. Know your inner nature. Know who you are. When you go through life knowing who you are, life is much easier. And as we all know, people Sometimes struggle with that their whole life, never really knowing who they are. A fish can't whistle, and neither can I. Know your limitations. Another important principle in 
Taoism, to know your limitations. Know what you're good at, what you're not good at, know what other people are good at. It's all okay. Why does a chicken? I don't know why. Who and Taoism are unburdened by these unknowns? There are unknowns in life that we will never truly understand. And so, who was accepting of that? And then he didn't let it bother. And then he had another song that I thought was great, and here's how it goes. How can you get very far if you don't know who you are? How can you do what you ought if you don't know what you've got? And if you don't know which to do of all the things in front of you, then what you'll have when you are through is just a mess without a clue. Of all the best that can come true if you know what and which and who. Whether it's Taoism or Christianity or our reading from John, there are these principles there of knowing who you are. You are a disciple of Jesus Christ. Knowing what you're gifted with. You're gifted with the Spirit and with other gifts that God has given you to go through this life with. And you know your purpose. You're to be sent out as witnesses of this good news of the gospel. And you'll have the Holy Spirit to help you do it. And let me conclude with what is often disturbing in that text where it says, if you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain them, they are retained. He's not suggesting that they go around and just haphazardly choose this one to forgive and that one to not. What he's saying is that you have the power to go out and share this good news and this message of release with people. And as you do so, they'll be released. But if you keep it to yourself, the message won't be heard. And I thought about this church family when I read that, and I thought, that's right. If we don't go out from here and tell others that they can find a God here who accepts them and doesn't judge them, then they're not going to find it, perhaps. But if we go out and share it, we might lead them to find this release that they're looking for. That happens over and over and over again in this church. For those who have been given a God of judgment and harshness, they come here and find that there's another message available to them. And so I send you forth to be disciples, to be followers of Winnie the Food, and share who you are, what you're to do, 